Joining us live tonight, if you watched our coverage yesterday, you probably heard our, his voice, uh, Jeff Mangum with Tornado Trackers, our tornado chaser extraordinaire. He was on the ground giving us live views of the tornado yesterday. Jeff, it's great to see you in one piece. Yeah, it's good to be in one piece. <laughs> so let's go through some of the, uh, the incredible footage that you had yesterday. But I want to show you a moment, and then we'll talk about it here in just a second. This is one of the most intense moments yesterday from Jeff's chase. Yes, I can. We are caught in some rain. We're about to go south a little bit to get out of the rain, but this is a significant tornado. Jeff, you guys are pretty close to that storm. Is it moving toward you? It's moving to our north. So you're trained at this, Jeff. Yes. You told me, though, a minute ago <laughs> that even with your years of experience in Oklahoma, Kansas, Mississippi, wherever, this was the closest you've been to a tornado. How did you guys stay safe and what was going through your head? It was. It was the closest we've been before. Um, what we try to do is make sure that we're south of the tornado because the tornado is going to be moving east or northeast. And so if you stay south of it, you're staying clear of the direction of the tornado. Uh, we did that, and so we were in a safe place. But there's something called RFD. It's rear flank downdraft. It's the winds that come to the backside of that tornado. Sure. And those winds can be 80 to 100 miles an hour, and we were experiencing a full force of that. And it's not even, you know, part of the circulation of the tornado That's right. itself. That's, That's just right. something separate. So as you were chasing this storm, there was a moment where the tornado crossed the road. What was going through your mind when this tornado was, what, 100 yards away from you? Yeah, it's about 100 yards away. Um, a couple thoughts. There were a couple cars there. You can see their lights on, wondering how in the world they're even still in their car. Yeah. Um, but when you were in a situation like that, you're seeing the storm motion move that fast. It's pretty mind-boggling. It, it's it, right. it, there. It's a weird thing for your brain to have a concept of wind moving that fast. And so right. uh, you're in awe of it. You're trying to stay clear of it. But it is uh, absolute respect of Mother Nature. Even just seeing that footage yesterday, it, it does not look like you were close to Austin. It looks like you were in Kansas. <laughs> That's right. right? Yeah. Uh, that way. Let's check out another part briefly of yesterday's coverage when you found some damage and yep. debris. Check this out. There's a home with uh, some tractor combines that are just thrown around like, like toys. Uh, we're checking on the family that's in the house. It looks like they're okay. Their house is destroyed and a lot of their uh, farming equipment is gone. So that was your chasing partner, Gabe Cox. And yeah. you, you, you have such a big heart, Jeff, and that's one yeah. of the reasons we love you. You, you came across a home that was damaged. Yeah. Tell us what you found in there uh, before law enforcement even arrived. Yeah, we, we found a family that was inside the home. Uh, the first thing we wanted to check is, were they okay? Mm -hmm. Was everyone uh, yelling out that they were okay? We got confirmations from the entire family that everyone was healthy and, and okay, but they were definitely in shock. And so we uh, immediately, there were two or three uh, police uh, vehicles that were on scene. We directed the family to those vehicles and let them take care of them. I think that's one of the things when you're storm chasing, you want to chase the storm, but you want to care about the people. And that's the most important part. And, and being able to do that and then relinquish them to the authorities who are there to help and right. the paramedics. Uh, it was good to see that there were some paramedics there so quickly. Well, we're happy that you were checking on your neighbors. And yeah. uh, most people run away from these things. You run toward them. Yeah. I guess I understand <laughs> as a meteorologist, but w what the heck made you want to do something like this? Man, uh, when I was 10 years old, I came across a, a documentary that just about tornadoes that, that stole my heart. And so <laughs> I have been all about severe weather ever since. Been chasing storms since I was 17 years old. And so well over almost 30 years now, been, been uh, chasing storms. And there's something uh, miraculous and bizarre and wonderful all at the same time. It's the reason why people always have their cameras up looking for these storms because there's something mesmerizing about them. There really is. Well, if you want to follow Jeff and his crew, go on Twitter at Tornado Trackers. That's his Twitter handle. Jeff, we sure appreciate you coming yeah, in tonight. I'm glad to.